Hello and welcome to our news report. Today we will be delving into the ways charities have managed themselves and how they are recovering from the recession. During 2008 and 2009, the UK experienced the longest post-war recession. The country didn't start recovering until around 2012. However, charities are still being affected today. We have spoken to Colin Ingemels, a long-standing Rotarian, to see what he thinks about how charities have been affected. I think there generally is a decrease in donations when, when times are hard. There's always a lot of charities asking for help. You can't help all of them, but within Rotary we do try to spread that help as far as we can. What Mr Ingemel says rings true for many charities. In February 2010, 59% of charities were affected by the economic downturn. In 2008, only 54% of adults donated a total of 10.3 billion, which was a low for recent years. But how has the worldwide charity has been affected by the UK's recession? Well, hello and thank you very much for joining us today. Pleasure. So, how long have you been fundraising for the Cambodia project? Uh, well, United World Schools started in 2009, and um, so since then, um, mm -hmm. where at the time the aim was to just build one school, and we've now built 25 in Cambodia and wow. five, five in Burma. Um, and a couple in Sri Lanka as well. So um, it's been running, what's that, six and a half years, something like that. But, so at, the, at, at first it was just getting uh, enough to build the schools and because we've built much, much more, we're now getting much more interest from corporations and that sort of thing. So we've actually seen an increase in the last couple of years in donations. A few years ago it was quite difficult. By the end of this year we'll educate 10,000 people who've never had an education. Overall, the amount of money being given to charities has declined. However, the rate of donations has remained steady with over half of the population still donating through times of harm. This has been Love Day, Alice, Mia and Rachel for BBC School Report.